So what if you're given this problem? I want to find the perimeter of this rectangle. Well, the easiest way to do that is to first go ahead and identify the length of each one of my sides. Well, I remember that each one of these links is the same. So if I've got 3x plus 2b on top, I also have 3x plus 2b on the bottom. And then I notice that the little short distance here is 7x plus 4b, so that means the other one on the opposite side is also 7x plus 4b. So now if we remember, the perimeter is the length plus the length plus the width plus the width. So I'm going to plug in now what I know. So it doesn't matter which one you consider length and which one you consider width as long as you do it for both of them. So I'm going to say the length is the 3x plus 2b. So I'm going to say that the perimeter is 3x plus 2b plus another 3x plus 2b. And then I'm going to do my widths, which is 7x plus 4b. And then again, another 7x plus 4b. So now I have everything here, but I need to make it look a lot cleaner. Right now it looks like you know there's lots of X's running around, there's lots of B's running around, so I want to kind of group all of my X's together and then I want to group all of my B's. So my first group I'm going to have 3X plus 3X plus 7X plus 7X. And then I'm going to have my second set for the B's, so I'm going to have 2B plus 2B plus 4B plus 4b. So now everything that looks the same is together. So I want to add, so I'm going to do this so I have 3 plus 7 which is 10 and another 3 plus 7 which is 10. So 10 plus 10 is 20. So I've got 20 x's. And then here I've got 4 plus 2 is 6. And another 4 plus 2 is 6. And 6 plus 6 is 12. So I'm going to add 12b.